okay everybody how are you all doing so in this video we'll be looking at the oppo privacy features so oppo has plenty of privacy features thrown in into the latest color os version and that's what we'll be looking in this video these are really important and are really interesting so depending on your preference you can easily customize your phone to your liking so that's what i'll be showing you in this video i was kind of surprised as to see how much deep dived settings that oppo has provided with this color os version so yeah without wasting any more time let's start to look at it but before that if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also like and share this video if you find these settings interesting or rather this video interesting okay so first setting is uh, from the settings menu here obviously and we will go to privacy so this is where everything begins so tap on privacy here there are so many things literally that you can do with this oppo phone so first of all let's look at the permission manager here so instantly you have been given this permission manager where you can find what app is accessing what sensor of your phone let's say camera which is really important right in terms of privacy so what app is accessing camera you will see it right away here so depending on how many apps you have installed you may have plenty of apps here which are allowed to access camera so easily so if you don't want that app to access your camera you just have to go to that particular app and then tap on don't allow don't allow any way so by this you are denying permission to that app whenever you open that app again consciously you can go ahead and give the permission to access camera so similarly you can do this for all other sensors here so what apps are accessing my location so you can easily check out here and if you don't find or rather if you find suspicious you just tap on the don't allow it's really safe what you do here and that's what permission manager allows us to do so camera access and microphone access has been given to the apps obviously which asks for the permission so the most important thing or rather everything is here privacy so this is where everything gets interesting so here's the privacy and first one as you see app lock so you can literally lock the apps you have to set the privacy password for that you can either set the numbers alphanumeric or even the pattern or even face as well as fingerprint so i have set the simple pattern here for the first time it will ask you to set you just have to tap on set and set up the pattern that's really easy here but the thing is once you are in so there is app lock you can completely turn off or you can turn it on even though you are not locking the apps so here you have plenty of things going for it right so what app you want to lock let's say i want to lock the amazon app so i just switch on that let's say i want to lock the app market I switch on that so you can easily switch on what apps you want to log and you can find it here as well with the filtered thing once you have done that actually if I go back and try to open the Amazon app it asks for the password so this is how easily you can lock the app so once I give the pattern that I've set Amazon app is open let's move to privacy again here quickly the second one is with the hide apps so you can hide the apps very easily on this Oppo phone so again with that pattern set here already so I have not hidden any apps so how to access that thing so it's really interesting on how you access the apps that are hidden so once you hide the Amazon app for example so you don't find the Amazon app here right it's boom gone so how do you find that again so for that what I have done is to set the number in the dialer code so how hash 007 hash that's what I have set actually given with this hidden app so what are the apps that I have hidden will be found here so easily I can access the Amazon app so how to set that passcode actually you should go to the settings here and you will find change access code just tap on this one so whatever access code you want to set you have to set here with the hash in the beginning and then give any number and then you type hash again so it should start with hash end with hash and then tap on ok and you're all set so once I hide the app let's say I want to hide the chrome app all right so if I go back here and I don't find the chrome app at all so chrome app is gone from here so let me type chrome see there is no chrome app found so what I can do is to go to dialer here phone dialer and then hash triple zero seven hash boom there you go you have the chrome as well as the amazon app that was hidden so easily or rather secretly you can hide apps that you want to so let's quickly go to the privacy hide apps and give the password or the pattern and then you can easily turn this thing off if you don't want to use okay next one moving on we have the private safe so images documents whatever stuff you have you can hide it safely into the private safe so this is a neat hidden trick here so images and videos so I have hidden a single image okay let me tap on another image here and set as private so you should set as private 
and boom there you go it's hidden in private you don't find it in gallery section so similarly you can do that for your documents if you have any very private documents you can easily store it in the private safe just as the name says okay so there is this privacy dashboard which is again really important for the past 24 hours what are the apps that are accessing your sensor so easily you can see it here since i have not used many apps so there are not much going on here but then if you look at your phone you'll find plenty of things going for it if the camera is used by some other suspicious apps you can easily manage permission just like i showed you in the beginning of this video so guys there is plenty of things that has been thrown in here if you go to advanced there are more you can do but the video gets lengthy hope this has enlightened you about the privacy on your phone hopefully you'll use this setting utilize this setting and if you like these kind of videos don't forget to hit that like button and do support my channel by subscribing and sharing it to your friends all right just a quick video on showing you how you can set privacy on your Oppo phones, plenty of things going for it, right? Alright guys, that's it in this video. I will see you all in another one. Take care everyone. Bye bye.